Hello and welcome to my Killing Floor 2 SDK tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to go over lighting. I'm not going to go over it in, in detail. This is just uh, the beginner's version, I guess you could say. So just having enough light so you can actually see what's going on in the map. And other tutorials for the UDK has, can cover lighting much more intensively. Uh, Tripwire has made a few changes for ch um, I'm not even comfortable explaining because I don't understand it yet. But what I'm going to do is tell you how you can set the map. So when you play it, because currently when I play from here, you can't see anything. So I'm going to tell you a few things you can set up. So what you need first thing is a light. So there's a few ways you can get lights. You can go to Active Classes. Shot up on here, and under light, there's direction lights, point lights, skylights, and spotlights. Uh, you can find all the differences in other tutorials. Um, for now, I'm going to put in a skylight so you don't get any shadows or things of that nature. So I would just drag it in. Okay, so we got a skylight. Usually I like to make it high, even though it really doesn't matter where it is. And next thing you do after you create lights, you have to build the lighting. So here's a build lighting button. Usually I just do build all and that will build the geometry, the lights, the pathing, the splatter maps. Um and it's like an all-in-one but once the map gets a lot bigger then it takes a lot more time to do it but it will you'll come up with all these warnings I'll cover these in a later tutorial but it seems like lighting works so let's see what the map looks like when you make it lit well that certainly doesn't help does it that is because you need a volume around your entire map to tell the SDK where you want the lights and normally in the UDK the volume that they want would be the light mass importance volume but Tripwire has their own indoor lighting volume or outdoor lighting volume and you can only have one of these per map you can't have an outdoor one and then put in an indoor lighting on the indoor portion of the map so for now you just pick one. Um, so first to build the volume around your entire map you need your builder brush and if for some reason like me like I can find it but if for some reason you guys can't find your builder brush here is a surefire way to find your builder brush. If you click F2 your builder brush is selected and if you click home you will jump to whatever you have selected which is the build brush because you pressed F2. If for some reason you don't see a brush, try clicking B because that will toggle the brush. Anyway, so once you find it, um, you can just drag it over. Drag it over to your map. Oh, I just pressed W and toggled that. And I'm going to go to my orthographic views and change the grid space uh, probably to 160. Probably. Um, I'm going to click home again. So all the viewports will home in onto the brush. And to edit the brush, you want to go to the geometry mode. So click geometry mode, and the geometry tools thing will come up. Uh, OK. So first off, I'm going to select the entire brush and I'm going to right click on one of the edges and that will actually snap it to the grid I, I might be OCD because of this but, but hey okay so I'm going to select this edge here and drag it out to make the brush bigger and you want it not too much bigger than your own map but not I haven't tried it when it's like exactly the same size as the map but I'm just gonna make it 
big enough. So as you can see, we got the box all the way. So let's get out of geometry mode before we change things we don't want to. And when you have the box selected with the brush, right click on add volume and instead of light mass and portion volume, I'm going to go to in or outdoor lighting or maybe indoor because I was planning on putting a ceiling later. So let's go indoor then. Okay, so now you placed an indoor volume around here and you should be able to see it when you move the brush out of the way. So here I moved the brush but kept the importance volume here. I'm going to click B to get rid of that brush there. So now I wonder if this actually has to be inside. Well, let's find out. It's the best way to do it. Let's build a lighting and get out of this of the errors and go into lit mode. Hey hey. So now when we play from here. Ah, look at that. And no wonder I was not able to interact with the environment. But the thing is, you can see, and normally you would actually be a character. Anyway, so make sure you have some form of lighting, either a directional light, point light, skylight, or spotlight, and put in a tripwire indoor lighting or outdoor lighting, one of those around your entire map and then build lighting and you should be able to see in your game now. There will be times when some static meshes will not show up. So for example, let's click on this static mesh wall to open up the properties. Um, to open up collision and lighting lighting channels. Uh, if for some reason you got the wrong one selected, in this case, this is an TWI indoor, and so it has to be indoor before it's shown. So you can select that and change that up. That is it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching.